Hey humans, welcome back to my channel. It's Winnie BLV, Mouth of the South. No intro, no outro, just this. Ho! Today's video is a tag video. Uh, I was tagged by the wonderful Jame of Jame's Jam. That's Jane. That's her jam. <laughs> I love that. And I've seen it make the rounds. It was uh, originally created by Nick J. Snell. So I will link those down in my box. Get in there, Nick, and roll around. <laughs> Hope you guys are having a special happy weekend. I know I am. Hey, uh, today's video, I want to thank the good folks at Julia. It is sponsored by Julia. And uh, they sent me a couple of little items here I want to unbox with you real quick. And then we will get into this tag video, girl. Yeah, so with Julia, you already know it comes packaged to the hilt, girl. You got a little catalog in there. You got your little accoutrement. And also, um, if you want to be fancy dancy, boom, you got a little bag to put it in, right, as a gift. That's cool. Uh, let's see here. I don't know which is which, but hey, <gasps> we're going to find out together. I love Julia. I really do, man. Um, every time I look at the Julia site, I find something new and like, oh, I need that, girl. I need it. <laughs> oh, okay. So this is a ring that looks suspiciously like... But it is cool, kind of like it with the links and everything. But I just thought it was really, really cute. Um, I sized up on this. Normally I am a nine, but I went with a nine and a half because I feel like I'm getting really fatter. But also, I wanted to wear it on my thumb. Uh, occasionally I will, you've seen me, wear a little thumb ring. And oh, it fits perfectly. I love it. And for some reason, this hand is bigger. Somebody explained that to me a video once, in the video once, in the D, in the uh, comments, in the D. <laughs> Somebody don't have to explain the D to me, girl. Uh, but <laughs> what I meant was somebody uh, down in the comments did say why that was, and I can't remember. But um, it makes sense. So this hand is a little bigger. It's a little too big to wear on this finger. Plus, I wear these rings all the time on this hand. So I just thought, you know what, I'll size half size up and it's perfect. It is perfect. Perfect my thumb, for my thumb. And, that's what she said, perfect for this finger. She also said that. Yes, girl, yes. I absolutely love it. It is really, really cute. So it does have a little bit of like um, bedazzling like some sparkle, some rhinestones or something there, something that makes it a little sparkly in the links. If you can see it, oh hell, come on. There we go, camera. But yeah, it's really, really cute and I love it. Okay, so I'm definitely going to wear this. Also, the good folks at Julia gave me some earrings. Oh, I'm really into crawlers right now. The uh, crawly, crawling up the ear lobe. Did you guys see the Marvel movie? The latest one? It, of course, it has that hot ass Thor in it. Um, sorry, we got a case of the dropsies today. But um, one of the characters in that, I can't think of who it is. My daughter knows all the characters. I usually do. I just can't think right now. But um, Anyhow, she wears these really cute crawler earrings, and after I saw that movie, I was like, I need to get me some of those. So anyway, that's why I'm not wearing earrings today, because I knew I could put these little crawlers on, and ooh, girl, I love. What do you guys think? Does it look okay? Oh, shoot. Is it effed up? These are a little different than what I'm normally used to. It kind of has a little clip on the back and they're little uh, gemstones that look so much like a diamond girl, but not the diamond price. Julia has it all. I mean, you can look like a million dollars girl and not spend but a hundred or less. <laughs> I love that. I love it. Come through. 
come through looking like that got rocks. My friend used to say that all the time and then somebody told me and reminded me it is it is what they call the rich people in the Flintstones, right? The got rocks. I get that now, but I never put that together when my friend used to say it all the time. I thought it was like her her term, but no, no, no. No. Nothing's new. We just repeat everything. Okay. Thank you to Julia. I will have a link and also a promo code in there. There is some sales going on, like an anniversary sale, back to school sale. Right now, if you just click that link, go over and check it out. A uh, scent of the day is this Armani code. They say there's some like orange notes in the opening. I don't get that. I just get honey, sandalwood, vanilla, kind of like a musky type situation. Manly, but I like it too. That's really <laughs> how it comes across. But my husband does have Armani code for men. I loved it so much. I wanted to try the women. I loved that so much. As you can see, I've only had this a couple months, but I have gone in on it. Yeah, she's dented this. I really like it. Um, sometimes I wear it at night, you know, as a bedtime scent, but yeah. Bag of the day, girl. It is. <sighs> My little new uh, Sinbono bag that I am crazy about. This thing carries actually a whole lot. I'll have to review it with you. Um, I think they're actually going to go in with me again. Ooh, get in with me again, Sinbono. But uh, I'll leave a link for this as well if you want to check it out. 97 bucks plus you have a uh, promo code. Hello, 26% off that. You... <laughs> You're gonna go on there and buy like four or five bags for a hundred bucks. So go on, Julia, save a bunch of money, get you some really nice jewelry, and then go over and get you a little bag, honey. All right, so the name of this video from Nick is uh, Best Lux Decisions. I've jotted down 10. I'm sure I'll think of more after this video. But the first thing that I feel like is a good decision for me or has been a good decision is I stopped buying a lot of SLGs. I went freaking SLG crazy. It's been a couple years ago, but I had to, I, I just went on a, a real, along with everything else that you know what I do. I get really into, oh God, gotta have it, gotta have it. And um, I just went on a tear on a bender. <laughs> And I've sold a lot of them. Now, I'm not going to say I will never buy an SLG again. I still want a Recto Verso. I've screwed around and waited till the damn thing's almost $700 when I could have got it for in the $500 mark when I really started wanting one. Uh, so, yeah, there are some SLGs that I do desire. But I'm, I'm not going to go in like I, I had, girl, I had all the cosmetic pouches. Uh, I bought those as gifts for my daughter, my daughter-in-law one year. I mean, I just went freaking crazy. I bought everybody a clay. You know, I just, I spent way too much one year. It was year before last and I, for Christmas especially. But the thing is with SLGs, I figured out for my own self, you can, I said this in my last video, you can $100 to $500 yourself right into the poor house. And that's what I was doing with SLGs. I love SLGs, but I gotta, for me, I gotta be a little more choosy and pull it back. So that was kind of a good decision. Um, this Chanel bag. Okay, so Chanel is having some obvious problems right now. I won't say that the bag itself, I love the bag. I think it's great. But what it represented for me was me stopping credit cards uh, altogether and saving my money to purchase that. And that was, I want to say that was the first time that I've done that in a long, long time. So that was a very good, and it started with this bag, starting to like tell myself, you know what, Beach, if you won't have, if you don't have the money for that, you don't need it. Now I slip up every now and then. I mean, all of these are going to be good decisions, but do I slip up and F up? I do. Um, yeah, I'm not perfect, but I am consciously trying to start, you know, 
like I said, I have a couple of savings accounts that I use to save money for all of this stuff. And then everything else, you know, sorry, we got to pay bills. So anyway, that was a, a good decision for me. Starting a Lux YouTube, cha YouTube channel, I wanted to do it, wanted to do it for so long. And then finally, I just said, F it. <laughs> I just said, we going to do it today because it has um, sometimes, okay, that can be a, a sort of a, a catch-22 or it can be good and bad because a lot of times a lot of the purchases I made were fueled <laughs> by my YouTube channel and I think that's one of my points coming up but um, I think it was a good decision because it kept me from just laying around not doing anything feeling sorry for myself being lonely especially during COVID so it got me um, motivated to do something Sometimes that something was, you know, buying too much crap, but at least it got me up and got me doing a hobby that I'm interested in and I enjoy. I met a lot of nice people. So that is a great luxury decision. Um, I stopped buying Lux sneakers. Yeah, I I had a moment there for sneakers too. And, and, and slides, girl. Yes. Uh, so, but Lux sneakers, I've sold, I have a couple of Golden Goose sneakers left, but yeah, all my luxury sneakers are shh, gone. <laughs> it just wasn't for me. I, I find that, um, I'm, I'm loving the Nike Free. Uh, I've shown you those in a video. I actually bought another pair because I've worn those out. That's the one that I go to, so... If I'm not going to wear it all the time, I really, I don't know. It was only impressing me. And no, we don't need to. So I'm stopping that. Uh, I love that. Uh, one of my best luxury decisions is contacting Becca and Weiwei, having essays at both Coach and uh, Louis Vuitton, because that way I get stuff quick. Uh, I can get stuff that I see that has dropped and I really am crazy about or perfumes because Becca is the perfume lady at LV. So uh, I I think that's a good luck decision, decision on my part. If you are someone who buys a lot, and I don't actually buy a lot of brand new Louis Vuitton. I do buy a lot of Coach. So yeah, it's good to be able to text someone or message them and say, hey, what about this? Am I going to be... And and then, to that end, a lot of times when they have something they think I'll like that's not even on my radar, they'll uh, message or text me and say, hey, I have this. What do you think? So I am very glad that um, they came into my life and we're friends and I've gotten to know them and, and I really enjoy using them as essays. And you should too. They're down below in my box. Um, <laughs> where everybody should be, where everybody can fit, sadly. Okay. <laughs> um, I, I made a really good decision by selling on some stuff that I don't use. Uh, I was, you know, I got, I got to the point where I thought I was going, okay. When all this started a few years ago, I, I lied to myself. I really did. I lied to myself and I said, oh, you know what I'm going to do? Um, I'm going to buy a bunch of Lux stuff from Japan, fix it up, shine it up, uh, get it looking good, and then I'm going to resell for a profit. And, and there are some people that kill the game on that. They do really well. But I was lying to myself. What I was really doing was just buying crap that I didn't really need, but I had always wanted, especially vintage stuff that I missed the first time around case in point her the cherries um so that was just an excuse to myself um so when I really did start selling that stuff and moving it on out uh it was a great decision because then I could then pay back some of the stuff that I owed and I could also then if I wanted to buy something else not use a credit card and you know so it, this year especially, I've sold a lot, um, but I've also bought a lot. And it's a good decision for me because if I had bought all that stuff without selling, oh, I'd be living in a cardboard box. So 
Yeah, that was a great decision. Uh, I stopped only buying LV. There for a long time, I was just stuck in the, oh, Louis Vuitton, you, you're my favorite, I love you. <laughs> I named this channel Winnie B LV because I, I just am such an LV whore. <laughs> but I am thankful and one of the best decisions that I ever made with luxury is moving on to stuff like Loewe, Chanel, very tiny bit of Chanel, Kurt Geiger. I mean, you can see that I've sort of, oh, honey, Marc Jacobs, uh, Fendi. Yeah, so I'm really glad that I expanded Gucci, My Horizons, and I've started um, Tory Burch buying other things. And there, it, it was also Coach for a while, too. So I was kind of stuck in a rut of LV and Coach. So one of the best decisions that I ever made with my luxury um, life or purchases or whatever was to, you know, expand the horizon, see what else was out there. Louis Vuitton never goes on sale, but Coach, they do. Versace, yes. Kurt Geiger, Tory Burch, those think Marc Jacobs, if you can get, um, they go on sale, guys. So, yeah. It's a, it's a much better decision for me. Um, and I'm trying this, but I won't say that I'm all the way there yet. But I did for a long time buy things. And as soon as I got it in my head, I wanted that thing. The motivation behind wanting the thing was to show it to you guys, to unbox. Because I thought unboxing equates to views and it really does in a lot of situations but not enough to justify buying and buying and buying so i did stop that and it's only been very recently that i have um i still catch myself oh gosh that would be a great uh, should, should i get that that'll be a great unboxing so i am actively trying it's a struggle but i am doing that now um the first year and a half of this channel, it was purely, especially all the Amazon hauls that I did. I didn't use any of that, guys. Most of it. I, I really didn't. Uh, as far as the handbags and the SLGs and stuff that I bought from Amazon, I just purely bought them to show you and link and associate with my channel. So, yeah, uh, I moved on from that. That's a, a good luck decision that I... And I still struggle with it, guys. I also... <laughs> A lot of times I, it would go through my head, will it look good in the shelf? And then it sat in the shelf and I didn't get them out. There's a few of them that still are doing that. But I'm trying, guys. Baby steps. <laughs> Rome weren't built in a day, girl. You know what I mean? Uh, I started crossbodying when I first, and, and a lot of that has to do with my chest. <laughs> I had my uh, breast reduction. Uh, it's been a year and a half now last year January of 2021 and for a long time I didn't crossbody anything because it hit me wrong but now I am crossbodying everything and that is such a great luxury decision because I can actually carry um, more bags that I have this way by you know opening up the possibility of oh yeah she can crossbody that now like i don't have to sometimes i would come in here and because i didn't crossbody a whole lot i would shoulder or top handle i'd look at a bag and think oh i really want to carry that today it goes so well with what i'm wearing but oh god i don't want to you know i want to be so it would stop me so that is a really good lux decision that i made and the last one it's gonna sound crazy but uh, I started buying, last year I started buying Dior skincare. Now, not specifically to promote Dior skincare. It's great. Some of it is. Some of it, I, you know, it's trial and error. I used it and I moved on to something else. But it opened up the world of taking care of my skin a little bit better. And I got to tell you, 50 some years later, it's important, okay? These... <laughs> These cracks and wrinkles aren't going to go away, but we can help them out a little bit by moisturizing and using some skincare. Uh, so, yes, I'm very thankful um, that the Dior Lux decision I made <laughs> with getting that um, opened the door and the possibilities of skincare. So there we go. Those are uh, my best Lux decisions. What are yours? Tell me. 
tell me all about it. Definitely go over and check out James Jam. She did this. I'll link it down below. Nick Snell, who started the whole conversation. Uh, go check out those videos. They are very good. And everybody else. And you know what? I am going to tag everyone. I'm going to put that marker up at the end of this video. Do this video, guys definitely because i want to see it and tag me if you do okay all right guys if y'all see my husband though girl don't tell him nothing bye oh crap um just one more thing i wanted to say coming up next thursday uh coming up this thursday actually the next thursday that we see <laughs> i got a collab video with the one, the only, Autumn Beckman. That's right. That is coming up Thursday. Definitely check that out. Um, we're going to show you how we buy luxury online. I hope it helps some people out. Okay, that's it. Bye. Tell me about your luxury best decisions. Biatch, I want to know. I want to know.